Hey folks, it's Tom Norfley with www.citizenshipquickly.com. Wanted to talk to you today about the Andorra residency that leads up to citizenship and what the taxes are that you would pay in Andorra. Uh, dual citizenship in Andorra is not allowed, so you can only have citizenship uh, in Andorra. If you want uh, to get citizenship there, you would have to relinquish your other citizenship to, to get that. Um, this is one problem that you've got there. Uh, as of 2019, uh, you can go to visa free or visa free on arrival to 166 countries uh, and territories, making this passport the 21st best passport in the world as far as visa free travel goes. Uh, you can reside in Andorra, uh, but any sort of work that you want to do, you have to do that outside of Andorra. You can't work inside Andorra while you've got residency there. Uh, one advantage that you do have in Andorra is it's not part of the EU, which will probably keep your taxes uh, pretty low in the future because every country that becomes part of the EU, uh, they usually end up, uh, uh, the taxes are usually raised up from there. And uh, Andorra citizens have visa-free travel to the countries in the uh, Shenzhen area and also visa-free to Thailand. Very few countries have visa-free to Thailand, which is a big advantage to that. Um, investment requirements that, that you would have to do to get residency there would be to invest 50,000 euros, which is in a government bond, uh, and this would be in Andorra. And then you'd have to invest another 350,000 euros either in real estate, a mutual fund, or equity shares. You can apply for citizenship in Andorra after 20 years of residency. So you're looking at a long period of time that you're going to have to stay there to, to, to get that. Uh, to keep your residency in force, you have to be in Andorra for at least 90 days each year. The number of days to become a fiscal resident, as far as taxes go, is 183 days of each year. So you need to take this in consideration uh, you know, to keep the residency uh, in force. Andorra is actually a country It's between Spain and France in the mountains, and it's cold most of the year. And it's got the same sort of similar weather that Switzerland's got. The, the crime rates are real low, and the health care is real good there. Uh, Andorra has one of the highest life expectancy rates of uh, any country in the world. Uh, Andorra also has some of the highest incomes in Europe uh, with a real low cost of living. Andorra used to not have any income taxes, but does because of pressure from the EU now. Uh, tax rates for corporations run anywhere from 0 to 10% for and this is for those that want to incorporate in inside Andorra. The Andorra corporate tax rate is 10%, but holding companies that incorporate outside of Andorra pay a 2% tax on their profit. Uh, there is no sales tax, but there is a VAT of 4.5%. Uh, Andorra actually has one of the lowest uh, VAT rates in Europe. Education, health care, and medicine are all exempt from the uh, VAT. Personal income tax rates run anywhere from zero to 10%. The way it works is uh, anywhere from zero to 40,000 euros is a 0% tax rate, and from 40,001 euros and up hits a 10% tax rate. If This is if you're married. If you're single, this is a little bit different. Um, dividends from Andorra companies are tax exempt. Non-residents and people that spend less than 183 days a year in Andorra pay only a 10% uh, tax only on income that's earned in Andorra. Uh, you do not pay tax on gains from selling shares if you own less than 25% of the actual company. That means you can buy and sell equities, in other words, do day trading if you want to do that without paying tax on the profits. This is kind of unique. You don't see too many uh, countries that have this sort of lenient tax laws, especially in Europe. Uh, of course, one reason is they're not part of the EU, so that does uh, help quite a bit as far as uh, you know pressure uh, in trying to increase the taxes. Uh, capital gains from selling properties is 15% for properties held for a year or less, and then it's 10% uh, on the profits after six years, and then 0% after 15 years if you sell the property after that time period. Uh, there is no inheritance, estate, or transfer tax in Andorra. Rental income is taxed at 7.5%. No tax on in Andorra uh, in investment income. And property tax on so property runs about 100 euros per property uh, of land 
and property tax on built up real estate runs anywhere from 0.30%, in other words, 0.30 of the actual amount that you're, uh, that you're holding of the property, the value of the property, with a maximum rate of three euros per uh, square meters. Uh, I'm gonna give you my evaluation on this actual program, uh, and this is it. If you can deal with cold weather, the similar weather as Switzerland, as far as uh, the residency dealing with taxes, you're not going to find a lower tax country in all of Europe. When you consider corporate, personal income transfer, capital gains, inheritance, estate, sales taxes, and VAT, it's got the lowest overall tax package of, uh, of any country that I've seen in Europe. Uh, if you've got at least the 450000 investment that you're going to have to put you know, in, in investments to actually get the residency. Uh, and or taxes worldwide income, but acts as a territorial tax country in many regards, but it, it, it is not a ter pure territorial tax country. Uh, it does have a lot of tax advantages. Uh, I don't know of any country in Europe that has a pure territorial tax haven. Um, there are many countries that have a territorial tax system where you can get their passport a lot quicker that allows dual citizenship and you wouldn't be taxed on your worldwide income such as Panama, Ecuador, Belize, Plus, the weather is a lot better in these countries if you like you know, warm weather all year round. As far as a passport, I wouldn't even consider it because Andorra does not allow dual citizenship. So in order to get an Andorra passport, you will have to relinquish your current passport. And it's going to take 20 years uh, of residency before you can even apply for the Andorra passport. Remember, uh, the ability to apply doesn't mean you're going to get the passport, even if you've been there for the time period you're supposed to be. This is where so many people get confused. They think automatically, since they've been there for the time period by law, the country's got to grant them the passport. It, it doesn't happen that way. So you could be there for 20 years, apply, and still not get that passport. You can shorten that period of apply in about 10 years if you go to college in Andorra and get a job in Andorra right out of college. Uh, and it can be shortened even further if you marry a national. That, that can speed it up, too. But, folks, if you're paying high taxes, uh, get some help. You know, uh, if it's not from our company, get it from somebody. We can get your taxes to zero or close to zero. Uh, there are ways to do it. <clears throat> Once you learn the concept for what our fee is for one year, uh, <clears throat> you're going to pay taxes every single year. We save you a fortune in taxes over a period of years. But, uh, you know, uh, if, if you're interested in this, uh, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com for help. And don't forget, if you got a question, put it in the comments section below. And if you want new videos as they come out automatically, hit the subscribe button to the right of the screen, and we'll get those out to you as soon as they come in. Look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care. Bye.